Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Cancer? Hope you guys are amazing. Want to wish you and yours a happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2021? What is it that they need to know? What is unfolding before them? What can they expect for this month of December 2021? You guys, this is the second time I'm doing this video. It's happened with Scorpio and it's happened with Capricorn. Um, the, the video just keeps, I don't know, it's weird because it keeps like jumping. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's so weird. But anyways, I've been experiencing that. I want to say the past, the past couple of videos I've done. And of course, we just experienced, you know, the past Hallow's Eve, uh, which is when we witches specifically work on ourselves. And there were certain um, certain gifts that we wanted to enhance. <laughs> and now I'm having difficulty with electronics. So <laughs> spirit guides are like, be patient. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what we can expect. What is unfolding for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For this month of December 2021. Okay, one more shuffle. Let's get into it. All right. We're starting off here with the chariot. Wow. This is your energy, Cancer. This is being empowered. This is having the strength or knowledge that you can go towards or that you can achieve if you really put energy and focus. This is about focus more than anything is what I'm hearing strongly, strongly here. The next card here is the Three of Wands. So Three of Wands could indicate expansion, growth. For some of you guys, there may be travel involved in the month of December. For others of you, there's going to be a clash of connection. This is putting or being around. It's almost like that saying, being at the perfect time, uh, around the right people, uh, timing more than anything and I feel that for some of you guys especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while you may actually be meeting someone while traveling um, is what I'm getting very strongly here all right let's get into your reading now your first card here is the two of cups exactly what we've seen here with the three of wands and the chariot this is you walking or rushing towards expansion towards growth towards some type of short travel where you may actually meet someone or someone may present themselves to you. The next uh, card here is the Five of Wands. This is, okay, so what I'm hearing off the bat, um, what they're telling me here with the Five of Wands, I feel like people are going to be trying to draw in your attention or are going to be trying to fight to get your attention. If you're currently dealing with someone um, and you've noticed that recently they've been very like confrontational or uh a bit difficult to deal with i feel that it has a lot to do with their insecurities there is something about you that they're either seeing in a very different light or that they are noticing other people notice you and it's not sitting well with them the five of wands is almost like um an indication of not so much fighting but it has more to do with fighting to get something um from your emotions here with the two of cups and with the three of wands expansion so there is a fear of expansion on your part i mean on your partner's part if you're dealing with someone where they may become more confrontational because they're scared of losing you or they're scared that you may be giving attention somewhere else um, if you're single this is perfect timing to start dating to start putting yourself out there because I definitely do see a uh, competition of those wanting to get your attention. So it's perfect timing, again, like I said, for those of you guys that are trying to draw in love. Now, the next card here is the Eight of Coins. So you have possibilities, Cancer. I feel that the month of December is going to be very prosperous and very bountiful when we're talking about connections, not only in love, 
but this could be connecting with friends. This could be connecting with people that are at a distance, um, perhaps friends that you're no longer communicating with may start to communicate with you, may start to reach out. Um, the Eight of Coins is working towards some type of achievement or some type of goal. I feel that for some of you guys, the goal of wanting to find a stable relationship or stability in your life, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been drawn um, drawn away or pushed love away because you feel like you want to primarily focus in your finances or in the stability of your finances. And I feel that you're getting to that point of being able to feel like you're becoming stable, like you're being able to nurture the other part of your personal life, which is that of love and romance. Your next card here is the Nine of Wands with the ruler of coins here. So you may be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, you may be challenged at work. You may be experiencing like you're being a bit challenged right now. Take it as a positive thing if you feel like they're nitpicking at you or you feel like um, they're judging you. Uh, I feel that there's someone surrounding you that is very stable. This could be a superior. This could be someone that is of a higher ranking that is really wanting, like they have a very close eye on you and they're wanting to see if you have it in you because they're saying something about growth and expansion here that they're wanting to embrace or they're wanting to guide you or they're wanting to give you that, that boost. But before they do, they may challenge. So again, it's if you recently started a work um, or working with someone and you feel like your boss doesn't really like you because they're like messing with you a lot, or they're very like uh, they feel they come off like they're just picking at you. Take it in a in a positive manner, because I feel that the reason why they do that is because they see potential in you, Cancer. So ultimately, what they're telling you here is I feel that for the month of December, there's a lot of expansion for you guys. There's a lot of growth that's coming in, especially with stability uh, and relationships. And finally, you have the Strength card here. So for the month of December, for those of you guys that are in a relationship or are currently um, single. You may be dealing with a Leo. I also see a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here, as well as water energy, another Scorpio, another Pisces, or another Cancer like yourself. Um, but ultimately what they're telling you here is don't, don't doubt the process, Cancer, if you feel like you're being challenged for the month of December. You're going to rise to the occasion. You're going to be able to prove to yourself what you're really capable of doing, but do not doubt yourself. And whatever you feel that is becoming a challenge right now, it's molding you. It, it's a it's a beautiful thing because you're coming out on top. You're coming out stronger. You're coming out more confident. You're coming out, for some of you guys, with a connection, a relationship. For others of you, stability, honors, or even respect and admiration at work or the people that are working around you are going to see you in a very different light that they're going to help you, give you that boost to continue going up the ladder. So very beautiful energy here, Cancer. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays to you and yours, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.